Let's take a look at some problems where we convert fractions to percent form. Now to convert any number to percent form, we multiply by 100 and add on the percent sign. Let's go ahead and do it with these fractions and one mixed numeral also. Now one half I can convert to percent form by taking that one half and multiplying by 100 and add on the percent sign. Because I'm multiplying a fraction times a whole number, I can write this as 1 half times 100 over 1 percent. Now before I go ahead and multiply, I'd like to do some canceling. The only number below to cancel is a 2. How many times does 2 go into 100? 2 goes into 100 50 times. In fact, I can write this problem as 1 half times, let's break down that 100 into 2 times 50 over 1 percent. I broke down 100 in this way because I can see that I'm going to be able to cancel a 2 above and below. I now have 1 times 50 is 50 over 1 percent. That's the same as just 50 percent. The fraction 1 half is equal to 50 percent. It's probably a good idea to memorize that one. If you take half of something, that's exactly the same as taking 50 percent of that thing. Now let's go on to our next fraction, 3 eighths. To convert to percent form, we take 3 eighths times 100 percent. That's the same as 3 eighths times 100 over 1 percent. Again, I'd like to do some canceling before I multiply. And in order to cancel here, I'm going to go ahead and break down some of these numbers above and below. Up above, 3 is prime. I can't break it down. And I'll take my time with this one. The 8, I can break down into 2 times 4. The 100 up above in the second fraction, I can break that down as 10 times 10. Here I'm just going to take my time and break these down a little bit at a time. Now I don't see any numbers that cancel yet, but that's all right. As long as I can keep breaking them down, perhaps I'll find some numbers to cancel. 3 over 2 times 4 is 2 times 2 times 10 is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 over 1, and I still have my percent sign on the end. Now I do see that I can cancel a 2 below with a 2 above, another 2 below with a 2 above. All I have left is one more 2 below, and there are no 2's to cancel above. That's all the canceling that I can do. So I'll multiply across on top. 3 times 5 is 15 times another 5. 15 times 5 is 75. Let me figure that out. Down below, we have 2 times 1 is 2 percent. So notice in the second one, I took my time canceling. I just broke down those numbers a little bit at a time. Well, in A, I could see that I was only going to be able to cancel 2, so I tried to break down 100 in a way where I could get that 2 canceled right away. Now, we still can simplify this 75 halves percent a little bit more. The number on top is larger. I have an improper fraction there. So we can divide that out and convert to a mixed numeral. Let's go ahead and do that off on the side, and then we'll bring it back to our main problem. So let's take a look at 75 halves percent. We want to convert that to a mixed numeral. I'm going to take 75 and divide by 2 
2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 5. 2 goes into 15 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Subtract, I get 1. Now that's the remainder in my long division. If I'm going to write my remainder in fraction form, this remainder goes up on top over the number in front, the 2, 37 and a half. So 75 halves percent is 37 and a half percent. Let's go ahead and put this back into our original problem. So we've just seen here that 75 halves percent is the same as 37 and one half percent. 37 and one half percent could also be written in a decimal form. Because one half is the same as the decimal point five, we could express this as 37.5 percent. Either form is fine. They both mean exactly the same thing. Now let's move on to C and two-thirds. Two-thirds, we're going to multiply by 100 and add on a percent sign. We have two-thirds times 100 over 1 percent now. And again, I want to think about canceling before I multiply. Notice that the only number I have below to worry about here is the 3. 3 is prime. I can't break it down further. Now, 3 doesn't go into 2. And also, 3 doesn't go into 100. I cannot get a factor of 3 out of that 100. So it doesn't do any good here to break down the 100. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply across above and below. 2 times 100 is 200. 3 times 1 is 3. I have 200 thirds percent. Again, we have an improper fraction with a larger number on top. So let's go off on the side and divide this out so that we can convert it to mixed numeral form. So we have 200 thirds percent that we want to convert to a mixed numeral. Let's go ahead and divide 200 divided by 3. 3 doesn't go into 2, but 3 goes into 26 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2. Bring down the last zero on the end now. 3 goes into this 20 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And subtract, 20 minus 18 is 2. Now I'm going to write my remainder in fraction form. So the 2 that we have left, we write up above over the 3 out in front. I have 66 and 2 thirds. So for my percent, we have 66 and 2 thirds percent. Let's take this 66 and 2 thirds percent and put it back into the original problem. So we have just seen here that 200 thirds percent can be written as 66 and 2 thirds percent. This percent also has a decimal form, but the decimal form is usually not used because the decimal for 2 thirds is a repeating decimal. Oh, we could write it as 66.6 with a bar above it percent, but this is very rare. Usually repeating decimals are left in fraction form when we work with percents. And finally, we have one more problem here. We're going to take 3 and 1 fourth, a mixed numeral, and convert to percent form. In the same way, by multiplying by 100 percent. In order to multiply here, we need to convert 3 and 1 fourth to an improper fraction. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. That's 13 fourths times 
100 over 1 percent. And when I think about canceling now, let's see, I can do some canceling with 4 and 100. Here I'll just take my time about it all. So 13 over 4, 4 is 2 times 2, times 100 is 10, times 10 over 1 percent. That's 13. 13 is prime. I can't break it down further. Over 2 times 2, times, I'm down to 2 times 5, times 2 times 5, over 1 percent again for that 100. Now here's my 2 below, a 2 above, 2 below with 2 above. Really very similar to what happened in Part B of this problem. Uh, I don't have any numbers left to cancel with below. I just have a 1 below, so there's no more canceling to do. Up above, I have 13 times 5 times 5. 13 times 5, that's going to be 65. And then I have to take 65 times another 5. That's 325. I have 325 over 1 percent. Now because I have a fraction over 1, I can just write that as a whole number percent. 325 percent. And there's my final answer. And we're done.